sweet. Um, amazingly enough, I step on that, um, in the years I've had this thing, I never uh, really measured the windshield, and it's always been open like this. Now with the 3 sixteenths plate, I got a piece of 1 by 3 in here, 065 wall, and a piece of 3 sixteenths plate, which is your A-pillar. Um, the slot, I think it was like almost 3 quarters. Um, I have to find a way to sit uh, some safety glass in here, and it's quarter inch thick. Now I got this piece of quarter inch stainless. And I have this rubber uh, welding material I've had for a long time that fits in there really nice. But this is the stuff from um, if you go to the junkyard and you open the door on a Volkswagen Rabbit, that's where I know it comes from. Most of um, the Rabbits, Jettas, Golfs, all that, you open the door in between the upholstery and the outer seal where the two metals meet, and every door frame has this stuff, and it's... Uh, it's really flexible, but it has like a metal core to it, so it snaps to things. And you just hammer it over whatever you want, and it stays in that shape. But that's what I'm going to use as welting around my window. It fits too nice. Isn't that cool? But I'm um, taking all the measurements of the windshield and yelling them out to Dad. He's on the iPod over there on the wall watching me. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Huh? It's a piece of quarter inch. It's the windshield channel. The bottom one's a little wide, so we're going to have to put something on the inside. Maybe we're going to have to urethane it, or maybe trim that edge. Or just leave it. I think it's fine. But uh, measuring up the windshield. Now, safety glass, I don't know why they think it's ridiculously expensive. I want to get the Coke bottle green glass thing. So, quarter of an inch thick. But yep, yelled all the measurements to Dad, and I know how big it's got to be. And the windshield isn't by any means flat across the bottom. It's got, uh, I think it was 12, it was 12 inches over here, and it's like 10 and a half. So there's quite a drop between the middle. There's a hell of a bow for the firewall. But um, it's all about money too, man. You can't just go, oh, I'm going to build a car. Um, the windshield's going to cost like 40, 60 bucks. Um, the door hinges are something I can make now, which I've been working on. I need metal, I need uh, all kinds of things, you know. I can't just go, oh yeah, this is free, this is free, this is free. They, once in a while, you got to go 80 bucks, 60 bucks, 100 bucks. But um, I can at least make a pattern, that's free. So that's what I'm going to do today. Maybe add a cardboard over there. I'd like to find a piece of paneling or something. i got to get rid of this mess, too. I got a big pile of trash from the clean out. I am not getting rid of my metal. Um, if I got a piece of paneling somewhere, a piece of foam. Well, we'll take the measurements. I'll draw that out in CAD and maybe just bring them the CAD file and they can cut it in glass. Actually, a water jet will cut glass because glass is made of what? Sand. Uh, mess with the windshield, do a few other things. 
Do what we can do. Friggin' chair would have to be there, you know? <laughs> so you measure your windshield. I got my two pieces of edging in there. We put a T-square in there. I had a file on there. It's exactly 40 and a 16th. We're going to call it 40. You write that down? <laughs> right, I gotta figure out the bow. Shouldn't be too bad. We do it in CAD, it'll take minutes. Where's my file? Here it is. I cleaned up the mess somewhat. Alright, I'm going to the junkyard. I keep saying it, but I'm not going. gone through every school bus here and every box truck there is nothing that will make the 41 inches we're gonna have to get one made you can take it off the claw they love that that big old rusty bastard damn imagine all the dirt that thing has moved and this one and that one there's another one back there all right still looking here 42 inches that just might be our window right there I know it's got a crack on the corner, but if I can measure that puppy, and it's uh, at least 42 inches wide, so we can round off the 41. I know it's broken on the corner, but these things cut right out. There's another one there, but it's all scratched up, and now it's got crap all over it. Every window in this truck is broken except that one, so you can even see if this one's 42. It might be tall inside, I don't know. All right, I've got to rip it out. i got like 20 minutes to get it out. That's what I need right there, Chevy S10, but I don't need one with a slider. That would be kind of weird. Alright, I just measured this one. It's actually like 46 inches by like 16. Oh, we gotta find an S10. And I know there's none here. Oh well, we'll keep our eyes open. Maybe the next junkyard has one. <coughs> A little trimming and cutting, and we have our temporary, you know, plywood. Uh, what is this stuff? It's like a wafer board. It's almost a cardboard, but it's pretty. Like a 16 thick, 8 inch thick. Flexible. Cuts nice. Nice curve. It's actually backwards, not that it matters. You can't see through it, right? I want this window cut in uh, that old Coke bottle blue glass. Uh, it'll be cool. I'm going to make a crown, a cap. Probably something all the way across. I don't know what yet, but we'll figure it out. Uh, but no look at the junkyard. So I got my cardboard pattern. We'll have to bring it to the glass cutter and have them make it. So you guys have a good night.